Let's turn to Chicago's migrant crisis. Tonight, the city's ramping up plans to get migrants out of police stations and into churches and winterized tent camps. Talked a lot about the angry protests in Brighton Park, and despite that opposition from the community, look at this. It appears crews are already starting to put up the tents. NBC5's Natalie Martinez has the story. Framing is up at 38th in California tonight. People are feeling discouraged. We're resilient as a community, as a city. There's only so many resources that we hold. Um, you know, we weren't equipped for this as residents. Jacqueline Zuniga is part of a small group of protesters tonight. The site where construction started Wednesday with the bones of this massive winterized base camp already up. We Earlier no. today, we say no. No camp. A larger group representing the Brighton Park no Neighborhood camp. Council argued that Mayor Brandon Johnson's administration has lacked transparency. We had specific concerns around safety, around the environmental issues. They also worry about the lack of additional resources to support new school students. What we really need now that this is happening, we need a formal response. NBC5 investigates found that the site has a history of industrial use dating back for a century, including use as a zinc smelter and rail yard. The mayor said again Tuesday that the environmental assessment is ongoing and will be publicly released later this week. I honestly just don't feel that it would be safe. This after the mayor's Tuesday announcement, the city's collaboration with at least 17 city churches in a unity initiative to get migrants, 20 at a time, out of police stations and into temporary housing. The mayor's office is looking for a finish date here as early as the end of the week. In Brighton Park, Natalie Martinez, NBC5 News.